So what we've been able to do is 3D print soft materials. So that's important because most 3D printers to date have really used hard materials like hard plastics and metals. And when they lay down one layer, they can lay down the next layer right on top, nothing's moved. But if you're doing a soft material, like the human body, like living tissue, um, when you lay down one layer, that first layer can kind of droop and move. So when you put down the second layer, that first layer is not there anymore. So how can you ever build anything complex? So what we realize is that uh, if you want to print a very soft material, you need a support material to put around it. And to do that, we actually print one gel inside of another gel. You kind of think like a grape or a piece of fruit hang out in the jello mold, right? It kind of really stays in the right position. Uh, what we do with our 3D printer is we create a support bath made out of one gel, and that's actually made out of a gelatin material. We can then drop a syringe extruder from our 3D printer into that gel and print the second gel inside of the first gel. And that second gel we're printing is held in perfect positioning during the whole print process. You can build the full structure with cells. When you're done, you take that and you move it into an environment that's 37 degrees C, which is body temperature, and that gelatin will just melt away and leave what you 3D printed behind. That's really the innovation. So we've been able to take MRI data of coronary arteries or uh, 3D images of the embryonic heart and print those with really unprecedented resolution and quality out of very soft materials like collagens, alginates, and fibrins. And that really serves as really a novel platform for trying to tissue engineer uh, these systems, which we're currently doing in the lab. And hopefully uh, when you guys come back in a year from now or maybe two years, we'll be able to uh, show you some pretty uh, impressive results.